This video has information re in regarding to the uh, Wright Standard 48 inch mower and it's this one's mower's got a Kawasaki engine in it or did have one. Um, so let's uh, review what the schematic is showing us here. So over here on the left side we've got a, uh, a key switch which uh, can be uh, turned into the off uh, run and start mode. Um, down here we got an hour meter which uh, keeps track of the number of hours of runtime. Um, here between this delay module and that um, clutch relay, safety relay, those work together um, to uh, make sure that the uh, operation of the clutch is safe and um, protects the, uh, the operator. There is also a, uh, a present operator switch over here that needs to be um, enabled properly for the blades to turn on. Um, up here we have the blade switch, turns on the blade. Uh, this is a um, starter safety switch. I think that might you might have to have that in the park position perhaps to start up the unit. Um, then over here we've got the uh, neg negative and positive terminals of the battery connections and then that's your uh, clutch connection and um, on this diagram here we're showing that in order for the clutch to turn on the switch ground which is controlled by the delay module and this protection relay those need to be uh, providing a nice ground over to the um, uh, the clutch and then this present safety switch, which is sending voltage over to the, to the delay module, that needs to be present to enable that ground um, over to the clutch. And then over here, there's a positive 12 volt switch uh, that also needs to be turned on with the, uh, the switch blade switch. Um, so that's what needs to be engaged in order for the, the, the blades to turn on. Um, the uh, operator present switch, I think they're saying it's a gray color here, in case you need to uh, replace that and uh, get your blades to turn on. Um, this right here is the, the key switch in the off mode. It's basically grounding out the alternator and magneto. When you're in the run mode, you're connecting your 12 volt battery up to the alternator, the blade switch, hour meter operator present switch, auxiliary and the fuel solenoid. So that shoots the 12 volts around your system. When you're in the start mode, you're getting your terminals uh, B, L, and S connected together over here on, on this round switch here, which uh, enables the starter to uh, start cranking over to start the machine. Here is a um, connector that goes to the Kawasaki engine um, and this is the wire harness within the machine um, that uh, we were just looking at. And then this is uh, some of the um, the loads or the the connections of this wire harness and and where they're going to within the machine. Here is the uh, the key switch, the round key switch, and then you can see that this figure right here clearly shows the different letterings and the terminals that need to be hooked up correctly for the machine to operate. And then this is uh, the uh, hour meter connections. Anyway, that's uh, all I have uh, for overviewing the schematic for this uh, right standard. Good luck with your debugging.